It's called drifting. What do you mean, drift? When you drift, if you ain't out of control, you ain't in control. Still need a dictionary? You're taking a 3,000 pound object and you're, you're just whipping it around. It really got started uh, in Japan a long time ago. It was a road racer who, when he had a gap between him and the guy behind him, he would uh, basically slide around some of the corners. And everybody cheered him more for sliding the car than for winning the race. This is just something that the kids developed as they were racing down the streets. And then it became an underground thing out in the, the mountain roads doing toge where they would drift on mountain roads together. The kids would just race up and down and as the, the rear end started coming out, people got happier. Yeah! And in the US, it's really a big show. You know, you're going out there and you're, you're demonstrating car control at huge speeds with precision. You're right on the edge of adhesion from the tires, from your own personal control and, and the amount of grip that the car will give you. Let the steering wheel spin, grab it, go the other way, grab it, and, it, and it's just all about accelerator control and it's just very fluid. There are a couple tricks that you've got to have in your tool bag when you're a drifter. Uh, one of them is a handbrake initiation to a corner and unlike just pulling the handbrake to start the car sliding, there are some tracks that are very high speed, over 100 miles an hour and very narrow and you have to slide down that narrow straightaway into a corner and the technique is really pulling the handbrake in a straight line, setting the angle and then dumping the clutch to slide through the corner. The more angle you have on the car, the more counter steer, you know, your tires facing in, the more smoke, the better. That's where drifting is unlike, you know, any other traditional motorsport where there is no time involved. The biggest differences between drifting and road racing is we actually put the car into a slide controlled by steering inputs or by throttle inputs. Other forms of motorsport, when they're drifting, they're usually heading to the wall. They're crashing. Uh, we do use GPS sensors on the front and the rear of the car to get measure angle. So some of the pro cars, we, we clock at about 97 miles an hour at 48 degrees coming into a bank, I mean, which is, it's incredible. Way cool. I kind of think it's the Howard Stern of motorsports because whether you like the idea of burning rubber around a track or you don't, once you start watching it, you just can't take your eyes off it because you just don't know what's going to happen next. Something is going to happen and it's going to be big, so you better keep your eyes on it.